Hey guys, welcome back to our Learn EDM series on TeamMBL.com. I'm Music by Lucas. Today we're going to talk about how Kashmir is so amazing. Who's Kashmir? He's this guy. No, he's way more than that. Today I'm going to try to unveil three secrets that I think makes Kashmir so amazing. Now the first thing that makes him so amazing is his melodies. Having the perfect melody goes back to the core of what music is and music writing. As a good songwriter, you can make a melody which really gets stuck in someone's head, and that's what makes people want to listen to your song over and over and over and over, and that's how you make money. Now, Kashmir is really good at making these catchy melodies. One thing you may not have known about how he makes these catchy melodies is he almost always writes his tracks in F minor. Now, Kashmir says it himself that if you want to be really good at making a good melody, you should learn one key and learn it really well. Only use samples that are in that key. Only use vocal chops that are in that key. Then it's going to be so much easier for you to pump out hit after hit. And you're going to learn things about that key that you never knew before. The next thing that makes him so amazing is his understanding between the relationship of the lead synth and the support synths. You want to find the best lead synth you can find. Silent, I recommend it. Massive Nexus is my personal favorite. Find one synth that stands out behind the rest, but you're going to need support synths to support that lead to fill it out. Now you want your lead synth, the one that's the main one, to be EQ'd differently than the support synths. The support synth should be bust and reverb, the same reverb and all of the same attributes, and they really just want to be below the lead synth in the EQ. So you want to have your lead synth be a little bit higher on the EQ than the support synth so they don't get in the way of the lead synth, but they act as a pillow of sound below the lead. The last thing I want to talk about that makes Kashmir so amazing is that his music sounds like the difference between an old school movie and a nowadays IMAX high definition movie. Now, how does he do that? Well, it's between his EQ mixing and his mastering. And I'm gonna break down some of Kashmir's own tips for how he does his EQ mixing. First thing is that for the very high end of the EQ, he secures that for his white noise or a synth super saw, something that's gonna be in the background that's gonna be really high up there. Now, the upper middle of the EQ is secured for the lead synth, also known as the main synth. Now, the middle end of the EQ is secured for the support synths, but also the lower end of the main synth. The lower middle end is secured for support chords, which can support the lead synth and the support synth, but also for supporting basses that don't want to get in the way of the sub bass or the kick. Now, the low end is strictly enforced. It is secured for two things, your kick and your sub bass. If you have any other questions on where to scale things in your EQ, make sure to leave a comment in the box below and I will promptly respond. So remember guys, if you like this video, you want to learn more about EDM, about marketing, about how to make EDM, just anything revolving EDM, subscribe to this channel. We'd love to have you. See you next week.